Hey guys, it's Kraus. Welcome back, everybody, to Tropical 6. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy, because I'm going to be El Presidente throughout this episode. And also, ladies and gentlemen, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Calypso Media, the publishers of Tropico. And also, thanks to them, I'm able to give you guys a 15% discount on the game. So make sure you check out the link in the description. Game gets released on the 29th of March, 2019. So do keep your eyes peeled. But ladies and gentlemen, in front of us, Hagia Sophia, penultimo sparrow. He went to... what a crap is this in the world? I think it is uh, Turkey, right? Istanbul. So he went and stole it. I believe this started off as a church, then turned into a mosque. And today I believe it's uh, a museum of some type. Don't quote me, however. It looks absolutely phenomenal. But today's episode, we're gonna pretty much spend on getting on top of things when it comes to money. It's not that brilliant, like we do have some money, but it goes down so, so fast. We do have a boat production, we have a rum production, we're producing some leather, but it is not enough for us. So I've been thinking a little bit, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the cigar business, for example, and maybe even the textile business, because we do have llamas, disgusting creatures, don't like llamas, I don't know why, I just don't like them. They can't be trusted, all right? So we do have them, and uh, they do produce wool. So textiles are going to be a thing, and then cigars. So we will need to get some cigar fields or tobacco fields up and running. We do have this one over here, but I don't think that is going to be remotely enough. And also, in about 12 months, it's election day. And as a politician, I've made tons of promises, which I will never be able to keep. However, the support rating amongst the population for El Presidente is fairly high. We do have a support rating of 76%, 2% are like, meh, we hate him, and 22% are a little bit undecided. So what we could do is maybe use this time to swing those guys around, or, you know what, nah, what possibly could go wrong? If they decide to go against me, I'm just going to throw them into prison. <laughs> so let's see here. How many llama fields do we have? We have one llama ranch that is cattle, two llama. Just two llamas, right? That is not going to be enough. The thing about the ranches is that I believe the sheep one do produce wool and milk at the same time. In the westing, okay, you know what? I'm gonna place a sheep one just off here. And how about how about llamas? Okay, llama is not gonna work here, but it would work just off here. Next to Hagia Sophia. Those llamas. Perfect. And then what comes to the industrial building, the textile mill. Unlock a cash. Ugh, not as great. Yikes. Uh, can we maybe okay? This space was actually thought to have uh, Teamster offices. But I guess this will have to do, if I would do this guy like, I don't want to do this guy. This will be super snazzy, so we're gonna have some parks in front and hopefully this is gonna work out. Also, one thing which I've been neglecting a little bit is the, the parking garages. So people can use their own vehicles to get around here. So let's maybe add a parking deck. Um, maybe over here is a little gap, so we're gonna have one over here. Maybe one over here. We kind of would need one somewhere here as well, because we do have the distillery, we have the construction offices, and all those ranches and farms. Let's get one. I like this. It is slowly coming around. It's maybe not the best community, but uh, tweaks will be a thing. Also, I didn't notice those guys. They do have an upgrade which is called Shaving Pants. So it removes one job position, but does increase the efficiency by 10. Uh, did we enable those on this? Nope, did not. How about this over here? Did not. And this one has definitely not been enabled. Boom, done it. So this could be a little bit more efficiency on those guys, and hopefully, what I'm hoping, this is gonna... Well, this is gonna turn the tides a little bit when it comes to the, the money situation on the island. Because El Presidente wants to kind of keep his job, and to keep his job, we need to build stuff to make the population happy. And at this stage, well, they're not happy. But um, let's think about this for a brief moment. So overlays, and what do we need? We need tobacco. There's a lot of tobacco pretty much all over the place. This area seems to be very green. Even up here, however, I think there was like some type of gold deposit here, right? In te resting. Let's do. Okay, you know what? First of all, I'm let's sure do. Oh no. To vote for you, I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. <laughs> I love Penultimo. He's such an amazing character. Uh, you know what? 
Pre-adjust the, the ballots? No. You know, let them vote freely. What possibly could go wrong? As I said, if they vote against me, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw them into prison. They will never see sunlight again. But um, what I was thinking, let's make some tobacco farms or fields over here, plantations. Is that six? That should be six, right? I'm also thinking maybe even moving those guys in the future, like the the shabby bunkhouses to this location. Boom! Something like so. And then we're gonna continue with plantations all the way to the end. And, uh, okay, you know what? Is there anybody inside of the dungeon besides our soldiers or guards? I don't think there is anybody, so let's demolish this. Turn it and connect it. And as thinking of it, how do we want to go about? We could make one more going like this. This could make merge into that. Or somehow merge... Hmm. Sinking in progress. Sinking in progress. Let's take this guy out for a moment. Can I do a connection? Okay, that's gonna be a little bit redonkulous. Okay, I can't do it here, but it seems I can do... Okay, how? Okay, maybe not. Yeah, <laughs> it works. It's gonna be a little bit wonky, but I take it. And now we could have here, maybe even squeeze in some of the... What you gonna call it? The, the tobacco. The cigar factories, that is. This could be going like this. This could be maybe even turning like that. How do we look? Well, it's fairly terrible. No, it's not. It looks um, quite neat, I guess. Let's see here. How big are those guys? Can I afford? We have 3,000 in the bank. Not great. A cigar factory, please unlock. And we can't build it. And how about the docks? We have $10,000 worth of merchandise. That is not going to be enough. And the ship just left. Which kinda suck a little bit. But this is up and running. So this is the textile uh, mill. And how about this guy? I'm gonna increase the budget Direction on this. It's a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spank you, penultimo. And uh, I'm not gonna change anything here, right? No, I, I don't think I can. Constitution? It's gonna remain as it is. But let's see on this guy. I'm gonna increase the budget to max and also upgrades. Can we do anything? I guess workshop uh, expansion would be a thing. I'm gonna add four more job positions. Presidente, I know you always keep your promises, Yikes! But the citizens do I? Be very exacting about what counts as a fulfilled promise. Yikes. This is gonna suck a little bit because we need 10 more percent in the fun and happiness department. Well, I did make a promise, but we do have a crap ton of days to fulfill that, so hopefully we're gonna make that happen. I was saying, work expans expansion, workshop expansion, done it. There's gonna be four extra jobs, and what else is there? Fine fabric rolling. Increase efficiency by 20%, but the building does require electricity, and at this stage we don't really have any electricity on the island. <laughs> Which is kind of sucks, however, but what can a man do? Oh yeah, can we build those now? Let's see, cigar factories is 30,500 bucks. Holy crap, it's expensive. Crap, I can't even place it over here. But I can do one over here and maybe one next to that, which means, okay, if I would get rid of the wonkiness in this little road system, like that, that goes in, that goes into that. It's, um, it's a thing, I guess. And then we can have tons of buildings here, we can replace the dungeon over here. Everybody, believe. It's gonna take a while, but we will get on top of things. I, I promise you, right? Uh, this one over here, can I? Like, I can't even afford roads! Holy crap! How about this, though? Have we researched the, the thingy? Yes, we have. So let's issue the edict, uh, which is the state laws. Or maybe not. No, we don't need that, because we just uh, made crap ton of money on... Uh, on what, exactly? On export. Man, that was amazing. We've made 64,000, which means it's slowly, slowly getting there. I'm gonna place one extra of those next to this, like a so. And then here in the far end, let's just think about this. Uh, plantations. I believe the plantations themselves are like 16 width, right? Uh, tobacco. We could go grids. Uh, let's go one. Let's go... Two, three, four. This is pretty much go big or go home. Hopefully this is gonna pay off. If not, well, El Presidente's days on the island are counted. Can I go all the way around here? 
Okay, I don't want to be the guy, but I'm a, I'm a grid genius. Looky, looky at my cookie. No, please don't. We're going to have six beautiful tobacco plantations. We're going to have those over here. We wouldn't need a teamster's office or even more of those guys. Uh, can I squeeze in one over here? I can't. It would look kind of decent having over here, but I can just maybe do this like I saw. Perfect. And hopefully those teamsters here are going to be used to pick up tobacco over here and get that into the cigar factory, which is going to be here. I don't even know if we're going to have enough people for this task, but hopefully that will be the case. Do people use their own cars and park them inside of the ranch? Always a pleasure doing business with you, Presidente. Presidente, the broker, spank you. So I guess Penultimo saved the day over here. Yeah, I've been thinking, do we have enough people? It kind of seems that we do. And how about the upgrades? The only thing we can do is the green waste chopper, which is not really going to help us at all at this stage. Not over here. So let's keep it as it is, monoculture, multi, let's keep it at mono and let's, uh, let's go. How about those guys? Automated line removes to, uh, two job positions, but does increase the efficiency by 20%. Does cost 6,000 bucks, and that is money which I don't have. How about this? Yeah, man, this is gonna take a while. But uh, we will get on top of things. I I promise the ship is about to arrive, but we only have 13,000 worth of merchandise. 16,000. Please, 18,000. Please, more. I guess not. Well, that kind of sucks. But let's upgrade this, let's get this guy upgraded as well. And then, while this is kinda semi-working out, let's, oh yeah, let's just take this guy. So it's been up for a little while, how much cash have we made? Oh my goodness. We made 40,000 bucks on this already? That is incredible, how much have we made on the bows in total? 100k. And this has just been set up, it's already made 45,000. How about uh, the rum distilleries? Okay, 200,000. If we just get, what you gonna call it, if we just get some electricity going, then we can do this upgrade, the electrical uh, stills. Increase efficiency by 20%. Not too shabby. Crap, money's coming in. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna use that money. We're gonna build a police station. We're also gonna get an embassy, maybe, and invite Hans to the island. And I think what we could do is maybe we squeeze in... Uh, the prison over here, or I mean the, the police station that is. Let's see here, whereabouts is the police station? Fire station, cathedral, no, 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 police station. Done it. And how about the size? Okay, I had uh, the space in mind for barracks, but I guess a police station will do. What does it say? Supero Tropicano de Policia. Okay, and uh, any upgrade, second shift, please do. Serve and protect, uh, live and let live. Always on duty. Serve and protect. As I said, I do want to be the, the good guy. At least in the beginning stages, and then I am going to crush the population. Also, one thing which I haven't unlocked, by the way, is... Uh, what are you going to call it? I haven't unlocked the, the houses. It's a better quality residential building for free households. Tenants must be well off or better, miss little pollution. Let's unlock this, yes. And I guess what we could do with those guys is maybe even place a few up here. Okay, maybe delete those plebs and have those as a front uh, or a seaside property. Which side is the side? I guess this, like this, boom, boom. I believe this is gonna look quite snazzy. There's still a lot of zombies over here, or Brits on Ibiza, but... Uh, <laughs> They're like all over the place. But this will look amazing, especially like having this waterfall and this little lake. Not bad. One thing which I want to check is this. Uh, those cigar factories have been up for a little while. How much cash have we made? 22,000 on this guy and 22 on this. Like, they've been up for like five minutes. This is uh, quite incredible. And this now? 74,000? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are in uh, we're in the money, which means I could start unlocking stuff and building stuff for the population. So um, grids, don't do grids. I will be doing grids. We would need, we will need all the fun stuff. Uh, by the way, can I do a little thing over here? I guess maybe not. Maybe. Okay, it's it's not perfect, but it's a bendy shape for the bendy people. So let's just zoom in so you guys have a nice view of the community and let's see here, what can we do? Um, 
Let's go into entertainment. So we do have uh, the restaurant, fun fair pier. However, this requires power and we don't really have electricity yet. Botanical garden would be a thing, I guess. Right, let's unlock this guy. And how about the luxurious entertainments? Theater and cabaret. Please unlock them both. Media and education. College, we would need one. A radio station is going to require power, so we don't... You know what? What are we waiting for? Let's set up maybe a power plant. The thing about the power plant, this game here is going to require coal. And south stations. So this is a whole project. Let's start with the botanical garden. Where do we want to have this? How big is this guy? Wood kind of squeeze in here. Wood squeeze in over here. Or maybe even... It's not the best placement of it, but we're gonna have a botanical garden for the happiness of the population. And here, I'm actually gonna squeeze in some, uh, some apartments. Not that we need them, technically, at this stage, but eventually, that's Remember gonna be a thing. Remember the story of the man Ugh. who built his house on a foundation of sand, Presidente? Presidente? Sister Francesca, he ain't my sister, have a customs office. However, Sister Francesca, that is actually a good, good sinking, okay? Good sinking, because we need that to boost the export. Please accept. You're amazing, Sister Francesca. And let's check the almanac. We have 23 homeless citizens. Uh, two of them are broke, nine are poor, and one family is well off. Hopefully the well off family will move in into those beautiful houses up here. We don't have a lot of them, but we do have a few. Let's uh, see. This is filled up already. This is getting filled up, and this is just build. You know what? Since we do have the cash, let's get... Let's go. Let's go crazy. Let's go... A few extra here, just for the moment. I think I'm gonna, I'm think I'm gonna demolish those guys and squeeze them in there instead. But for now, this will just have to do. What do we do? Yes, we're gonna be building the botanical garden. We're gonna be building all those apartment complexes. And one thing, which Sister Francesca suggested, was the custom office. Um, I don't think I've unlocked that yet. Now have I? Immigration office, customs office. Do that. And. Um, where do we place it? Maybe even over here? Like this? Like that? Like this. And that's gonna overlook the little harbor region of ours. How about this? The docks? How much export? 45k. 49k. <laughs> we are in the money. <laughs> that makes me super happy. It took a while, but uh, from this point on, it should be fairly easy going. As long as I don't uh, do too much crap at once and then... Uh, we ain't gonna be having enough of stuff. High priority on this and the embassy. To invite Hans, however, didn't we unlock this, the, the theater? 5,300 bucks provides fun for citizens and tourists. Preferred by cultural tourists, visitors must be well off or better. The only problem is we don't really have much of those. Those fancy peeps. But, um... You know what? What what? I'm gonna put this guy over here. So we're gonna have a theater. And then the cabaret. It's fairly small, so hopefully we can squeeze that in in the back stages. Is that let me see here? What's the front? What's the back? Okay, this is a nice looking structure. Boom! Done it. So theater and cabaret, and everything's being built at once. It's pure madness on island. But hopefully the fun and happiness is going to go up. We also need to boost the educated levels a little bit. And to do so... Let me see, is there anything I can do with this building? I don't think it is, right? Nope. The only thing I guess we just... This is pretty much a waiting game until the population goes from idiots to a little bit of more educated people. However, one thing which we haven't done is um, the college. Hmm... In te Westing. Let's just wait with that because we do have so many building projects being built up. We also need a commander garrison so we can send out Penultimo on a new expedition to maybe even fetch the, the Eiffel Tower or whatever it was. <laughs> I love those buildings. This game has such an amazing, um, amazing atmosphere. The Botanical Garden. Public Garden, I guess, or maybe just my pi private one. Requires an economic wealth, well off, nah. You know what, let's just do public. Let's be the good guys, I said. And the butterflies that's gonna unlock in Cold War or uh, an air-conditioned dome, a Cold War. So I guess we just wait with that. Preferred by backpacker tourists. It's, uh, <laughs> it's quite shabby. Oh no, the disgusting llamas are back. 
Look at this little peacock. You call him peacock, right? Yeah, I think you do. It is beautiful, and those are built up. How are you doing on this over here? It's being constructed. Let's just get the priority up on both of those guys. And how is the this over here? The custom office. Well, it's being constructed. And how are we doing on those? <laughs> this is going to be such a money maker. Oh my goodness. Do I hear Popo? We have a hot pursuit over here, ladies and gentlemen. A good deed, Presidente. Performed, no doubt, with absolutely no thought of reward. No, 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 no. No, no. Give money. Give money. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Francesca. I'm not sure where this guy is heading. But that is a dead end, sir. Oh. <laughs> Just beautiful. All right, let's see here. That is completed. So how does this even operate? I kind of forgot about that. So we do have stimulate exports, uh, reduced impact taxes and special taxes is going to be unlocked uh, with research and upgrades. Tax evasion is going to be the modern times and tourist fees in the Cold War. So that's going to take a while. One thing we should invest in. OK, let's just maybe hire some foreign workers for this is actually maybe unlock uh, the bank option. Because this is uh, this is uh, a cheesy way to make money, having the banks. Uh, not really have that much money. I rather maybe just do the embassy, invite Hans. But uh, let's see here. How much? How much do we have in this guy? Okay. This is not a problem. This is not an issue anymore. Let's unlock the bank, legitimate banks so it does generate interest on my treasury not that we have a huge treasury but we will eventually and also i believe there's a, like different work modes to this guy and this is gonna be the way to go this is the future 15k each and i could do this boom boom and bada beam what a waste of cash so what can we do with this guy we do have dance acts at this stage we can change that to uh, a TV show, I guess, and political acts. Well, I do love the boobs, so maybe later on, I guess. That's something we need to research first. So dance acts for the moment, uh, playback equipment, Cold War. Okay, so nothing we can do at this stage, but we do have a cabaret, so that's going to increase the happiness. We also have this, the theater, classic staging, improv theater or El Presidente, the musical. Which is something I really want to have, but that's going to be unlocked in the Cold War. So it's going to take a while. But hopefully, hopefully people will come by. And hopefully the happiness is going to go up. We have 47 out of 56. So we're still lacking. And the only thing I can do, like we could make more taverns, but we do have quite a bit of them. We do have quite a bit. There's, man, I hate this. You little plebs. Okay. Drastic measures, El Presidente. Nobody saw. I, I would kill him, but I need the population to work. This guy as well. No. Okay. I know what this is telling me. This is telling me that we need more... More houses over here. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna make myself bank houses. Boom, boom, and boom. This is maybe not the correct move. But it is what it is. And then maybe even getting them a tavern over here. Just to raise the happiness. Boom. And actually, education has gone up from uh, from 16 to 18%. So we're only lacking 2% until that mission for penultimate is completed. And still, the embassy. We have 22,000. We have traded. Hey, you missed those 11,000 over here. Please come back. Rockets. The newest threat raining death from the skies. The palace assures all its citizens that no country thinks Tropical is worth sending rockets against. <laughs> Banco Rota. Fantastic looking banks, by the way. Let's do this. Let's take a peek. I can't really do anything. State loans are going to be a thing in the Cold War. And I believe the thing to go with here is the private banking. But that's something we need to research, and I believe that research is going to be made in the Cold War, as I believe. Uh, let's see here. Cold War. The bank work modes. Yeah, that's going to be the next stage. But once completed, trust me, this is going to be the way to make money. 
At least it was in the beta. I'm not sure that is still the thing. What have we researched? Licious program issued it edict straight as off. As convenient as it has been to have most of our citizens incapable of reading, certain judgmental <laughs> nations have accused Tropico of being a backward backwater. Fortunately, it was written in a foreign newspaper, so not only did nobody here see it, they couldn't read it even if they had. <laughs> However, if you decide you should like to have more citizens who could read and write, we can always throw money at the school system and see what happens. Well, do I? Because, I mean, now I do have the upper hand as being El Presidente. But, uh, Pelotimo, issue this edict, please. Martial law, military police, no. State laws, no. We do have quite a bit of cash. Is there anything you want to do here? Food for the people. Good guy, bad guy. I'm going to be the good guy. Lights, felt citizens who are all skin and bones. By doubling food rations, you can make everyone happy. Well, except for the wealthy tycoons whose market economics thrive on scarcity. But everyone else will be mildly pleased at your generous gesture. Besides, it will be years before the detrimental health effects of chronic obesity will get noticed. Right? Am I right? right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Issue this edict. Anything else? Free housing? Please, no, no, no. Mandatory CS, that would be a thing, but let's not. No free lunches. I mean, this is a little bit contradiction. Okay, you know what? I'm going to issue this. No free lunches. So, food for the people, but no free lunches. It's a tropical tradition that all meals are paid for by the state, but traditions can be changed. With this edict, you can make everyone pay to eat, bringing extra cash into the treasury and making those with the means of production awfully chuffed with themselves. Uh -huh. On the other hand, the bleeding hearts might be a teensy bit miffed when the poorest folk go to bed hungry, but nobody said life was easy. <laughs> well, that's right, Penultimo. Issue this edict, please. So now they're kind of like the good guy and the bad guy. Good guy and the bad guy. But that, I guess, means that uh, this uh, the profits from the shop should go up quite drastically. So far, we just made 30,000. And the thing about this is that we only have this guy over here. Okay. Do it like so and in front of that. Because... Why not? Let's make a beautiful park. Boom. So we're gonna have one more of that. We can maybe even squeeze in a few extra houses. And who's this pleb? Didn't this burn down in the previous episode? Demolish. Gone. Bye bye. Sayonara. Adios, senor. And uh, let's see. Those guys don't really have uh, any planks. That guy doesn't have any sugar. So what exactly is happening? Are we lacking population? Sugar? Nope, not really. I guess it's just a matter of waiting in the harvest season, because uh, our efficiency is quite boosted on those guys. We have 125 efficiency on that. But we do have 150 on the farms. It does not matter. It's gonna take a while. There's coal over here, but that is so far away. It's kind of like in a different galaxy. Okay, let's do. For testing purposes, let's do a rod which goes like this, and then... Okay, this is not gonna look nice now, is it? It's, um... It's a thing, I guess. Can I... This, boom, perfect. Well, no, no, no not really. But we need a coal mine, so let's set this up over here. There's 400,000 units of coal here, even. But let's, uh, let's start with one like this, and then maybe even having our... Because, uh, I mean, if we would have the... What are you going to call it? The, the power plant over here. Yes, please buy the blueprint. That means the travel distance between the coal uh, mine itself and this guy is going to be super short. So this is going to be quick build, because why not? It's just 600 bucks, and this one is 6,000. Okay, let's not, but let's boost the priority on this guy. And that means the island of Tropico is going to have electricity. We've been waiting for quite a bit of time. It is 1929, which is quite uh, quite the time for uh, for getting into the to the to the to the uh, to the wars, right? But for that, we would need the embassy. Unlock, please. Yes, and let's set this guy up somewhere about. <laughs> Let me see. Where do we want to place Hans? Hans, where do you want to live? Just behind the presidential palace, maybe. That would be a place, right, Hans? Next to the bunk houses. Hans would like. Hans would love to have the, uh, the place over here, but he's not gonna get that place. He does not deserve it. Not yet. Let's put this guy 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna face it from the plebs, and I'm gonna just put it over here like that. So that's gonna be where Hans is gonna be living. And how about this? Let's boost the budget on this guy. Upgrades. We're gonna get a cannery. So I guess that's kind of like birds, right? And then we're gonna go to the coal preparation plant. Add two additional job positions. Please do. You ask how much you are to be paid. A questioning intellect is to be respected, Presidente. Presidente. Hans, ich liebe dich. Don't come all like moody to me. Invite access to the embassy. I'm gonna get 4,000 into my Swiss bank account. Because that is how we roll as, as a good Presidente. And uh, there's drunk people going inside. So I guess it's better to have a cold one than a nuclear one in this case, right? And for that, we would need a crap ton of coal. Upgrade, central air conditioning, pollution filter, oil fuel furnace. Okay, that's nothing we can do in this uh, era, but uh, we will later on down the road. Boost the budget a little bit, and hopefully this is going to be working. And if I would just check, I guess we can't really check because it doesn't have any coal. Can I see, can I see electricity overlay? Okay, I can. So we would need a substation somewhere in this vicinity. But uh, let's add this guy over here in the far end. And I guess we're going to be just replacing the road as soon as we can. So we will have a funfair uh, pier here on the far end. And um, some say that while there remain nations unconquered, the fatherland is incomplete. Prolong your independence, Presidente, by meeting my needs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hans, I uh, have barracks near the embassy of uh, the Axis. Uh, yes, please. We're going to build that anyhow, because we need, just in case of invasion, because the island is growing, and we're getting more and more enemies. If we just check politics over here, the standing with the Allies is uh, 73, however, Axis is 60. Can I high-five a little bit? 72. Looky, looky at my cookie. Look at the zombies, and they're just driving. This is nuts. Kaida de Cocos. Saida. Saida. Saida Cocos. I don't know how to pronounce it. I can't speak Spanish. Broker. Do these offers look good to you? They're all strictly legitimate. You know what? Yeah. I do have 6,000 um, uh, in my Swiss bank account, so I'm going to grab the college. Spank you. We still haven't. Holy crap, that even dropped. We have almost 700 people living in the community. And how how big was... Uh, how big is the... Does it really matter where we have it? This is going to look quite nice because it's just off the road from the, from the presidential palace. Boom! Done it. We're going to have a beautiful college over here. And one thing which I kind of forgot about now is that we can maybe even build a radio station. Boom! Boom! And place it so everybody's going to have access to it. The Ring of Fire is, is big, but maybe not as big. There is no place to squeeze it in. I'm, I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna put it over here in the backstages. Because why not? Stuff like this will kind of kill me, because now we've made those bendy roads, and we don't really gonna make use of the space here in between, because we can't really squeeze in anything. Maybe even a... Let me see here. Can I squeeze in a park? No, see? Like, this is gonna be a little bit of a waste of, of, uh, of space. So having the college, maybe the radio station in the background, is gonna save the day a little bit. Is anybody using this? There's a lot of people on the way to this, but they do arrive by foot. Or by car. Yeah, man. Okay. Let's do this then. Let's unlock the bus garage, please do. And let's... Okay, squeeze it in over here. Please do. And I'm gonna quick build this because it's super cheap. Then we're gonna have a bus line going somewhere from the... from the city center all the way to the funfair pier. The only thing about those is that you can only have one bus line per per bus garage. Kinda wish it was more. Ticket to ride. Uh, I mean, that's just one buck. Let's do free to ride. And let's have this going from maybe just outside this park. And the stop is going to be made just outside the, the pier. Uh, boom. Boom. And boom. Perfect. Yes. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it's because we're going to be using it. Cashing this. 54,000. 
Like, uh, it kind of might seem that I don't really have money. And that is just because I am investing that cash in building all those random buildings over the place. But a cash is a thing. Yeah, it's a lot of grits. Please forgive me for I've sinned with all those uh, all those grids. Viva Tropico! Viva Tropico! And just like that, we have changed the, the, the tides here. Now we have a approval rating of 82. Zero disapproves and 18 are a little bit like, meh, maybe, maybe not. By the way, let me just see here. Is anybody using this bus stop? Yes, look at that. Exactly what I wanted. Like all the kitties coming to their little fanfare pier using the bus. That is amazing. And drunk ladies. Well, it's better that and then driving, okay? Don't drink and drive. Never. So this is this is a win-win my books. But ladies and gentlemen, on that bombshell, we're gonna end today's episode. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Make sure you check out the links in the description. And... Uh, do hit the like button if you guys did enjoy. We're gonna continue this in the next one. But money is a little bit of an issue, but it's not an issue. <laughs> this is so nice. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Kerala is over now. Have a very, very, very nice day. Adios, amigos.